academic, like yeah. PhDs or EDDs. Pretty much the PhDs and EDDs are the doctoral people like us, where you see uh, like me, yeah. where jobs. <laughs> yeah. So uh, you have two ways you can get to this uh, data, to these data. You can start by with an institution, which is again a public institutions in Texas, or if you are working with uh, someone who's wanting to investigate a program of study, then you can start over here. So let's, for today's demonstration, start with an institution. There. Anybody want to call out? Oh, come on. Who's got a who's? Gilmore College. Well, Carpenter was right there. Oh, there you go. I think a little. Okay. Okay. So every time you pull up an institution, the page is going to look like this. Um, most popular disclosable programs. Disclosable programs means there was enough. The cell size was large enough for us to to share. That's really all that means. Um, and so you'll see here uh, they have a lot of general studies for one of their top three license. Oh, the name is cut off. Is there a way to make it? Let's see. What does it say? License practitioner? Oh, yeah. I was hoping that it would. Oh, scroll down under. I think you, it listed underneath two, maybe. Probably have to go looking for it. Yeah. I'm hoping Let's the certificates. See. I bet you'll see licensed practical nurse or something like that. Yeah, practical vocational interview. So here you'll notice when you do the when it comes to the detailed breakdown table, next to every um, major heading is a little plus sign, and just like if you were in a, a file folder, hit the plus to see what's below it. So this gives a lot of really interesting information. A number of completers, graduates are completers, um, and that's again disclosable. Just means their cell size is large enough here for us to share. Number of graduates or completers that have wage data, because not everyone who co graduated will have a file in the Workforce Commission that we can share uh, wage data on. Um, the median first year earnings, uh, median is not the same thing as an average. The median is the halfway point, so half the people made yeah. above, okay, and half the people up. Um, percent of average of above average were earners so this is now looking at the average and what percent of people in this with this award was making above that average work um, and it kind of gives you an idea of are these top end earners out of this degree program does that make sense okay uh, percent of above average earners Wait, percent of above average earners of completers with wage data. <laughs> so again, going back to that workforce file, and are we actually able to connect this person to a wage data? So um, the, the data can seem complicated. There is a place here where you can go into the methodology and using these data, which will give you more information. Um, again, this gives you all of the the detailed information so uh, the percentage of above average earners of completers with minimum wage data so the number of completers in a cohort da -da 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 -da, that the program divided by the total of program completers in the group uh, anyway it's, it can be complicated but and there were some challenges because with other states doing it, wanting to align it, there's some, there's a few things that were done differently in Texas than other states because there was some disagreement. But some of these were metrics that were already developed for the other right. states that were there. So the data was asked for that way. And um, with uh, minimum wage data, there's sometimes it's done and you can, if you read all of that, maybe it would make more sense.